Check out our forums at http colon forward slash forward slash crapnetwork.com slash forum. Our forums are proudly sponsored by CigarGeeks.com. CigarGeeks.com is one of the largest cigar communities online. You can also download the Cigar Geeks app for the iPhone or Android mobile platforms. Check them out at http colon forward slash forward slash CigarGeeks.com. Hey, what's up, beer drinkers? This is Long Ashes, and this is the Crap Beer Show, part of the Crap Network. And our uh, returning guest star, Ring Gage, is with us tonight, or today, or this afternoon, or this morning. Whatever time it is. Whatever time it is you're watching this. Broadly, you guess. Hey, how's it going? Nubs? You falling asleep again? What the hell? Nubs, you always fall asleep. Oh, hey. I think his spine's been tingling too much. Yeah. Uh, Gray Ashes? Oh, uh, scary? And the punch. What's up? I'll tell you what's up. We're gonna try a beer here. We just uh, did a beer review before this for a previous week's review. Yes, that's right. Sometimes we do them back to back instead of every week, and we're hoping this one's gonna be a little bit better than the last. It's Double Skull Doppelbach Lager by Epic Brewing Company <laughs> Exponential Series. It's part of their Exponential Series, which is uh, about ten different brews that they make. That's a very rare brews. They really only make a few thousand bottles hmm. of them. It's eight ninety nine for like a pint and a half. And uh, since you're holding something special, one of only a few uh, thousand bottles uh, of these intrigued, visit epicbrewing.com to explore the limited brew's precise details. But like I said, it's 8.5% ABV. And uh, I already smelled it from the bottle. I honestly, I don't get anything at all. From it, from the bottle. Your nose is lying to you. Maybe. <laughs> I got a little bit. Light. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Though. Yeah, it's real light, and it's hard to tell what it is. So to me, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say almost kind of like a caramely smell. Really? Yeah. No, not like pull up. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's very faint. And I don't know. I'm sure it'll open up a lot in the glass. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I got it. I ain't got shit. <laughs> we ain't found shit. <laughs> oh, what did they get? I did they look at his watch <laughs> chilling on his finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real, real, real faint, like maybe just regular beer smell. I'm not, other than that, I'm not. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. the hell? You're not a fucking dog. It looked like you were smelling after like a, a remix sound. He was like... He was like... <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing put, there. I want to put a soundtrack behind it. <laughs> it's weird though, because... <laughs> did you guys notice this, like, the label? It's like... Yeah, embossed. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's that embossed. Perforated. What we were It's all perforated. There's no smell though. Mom's perforated. No. Nothing. Ni nice looking label. Oh, so she's just all on she is. Yeah. It better be epic. All right. Epic. Perforation. All right. Idiot. I'm gonna zoom in and do the pour. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It actually pours out uh, like a brownish golden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little on the thicker side. But it looks like it's more like an amber color. Yeah. Uh, you want some more? I got some of the spit. You want some more? Oh, we didn't even drink out. No, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not much of a head to it. Real thick and. Kind of a cloudy look to it. That's got the lager smell. Yeah. Very, like a pale brown. I like the smell to it. Yeah. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Does it actually, smell? I don't smell the caramel, though. It actually smells it like it would, it would be smooth. Mm -hmm. You know, it has it like that. That's like carbonation. Good. I'm tired of smell. Oh, I'm to try it. Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> smell it now. Mm. Bob, what are you doing? It smells very rich. It's gonna be a good beer, I bet. The smell of it up. I've never had it. Let's it's find out. Yep. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, cheers. I'm a little more excited about this one. <laughs> <laughs> that was sound like wind chimes. <laughs> mm. It's, it's a lot, it's dark. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, that's good. More of a 
Like you I said, it, it kind of matches the, the smell, of very mm -hmm. rich. Yeah, I taste caramel. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm, getting, uh, just I'm not the, liking the hops flavor in it. Yeah, very rich hops flavor. Yeah, there's, there is a decent amount yeah. of hops in it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you get that with a lot in it, right? Maybe a no, not really. I'm not really getting that. It has, it has a lot after. I mean, there's too. caramel there, but not a lot. That's definitely got a lot of hops. It, it, it's smooth going down, but I think it's like an after bite to it as well. Yeah. It's yeah, thing. lagers yeah. usually don't have a whole lot of hops in them, but what uh, well, I think maybe a Doppelbach probably does. Okay. What's the alcohol? Eight five. Eight five. Yeah. I can, I can somewhat, taste, yeah. I can, I can yeah. somewhat taste it. Yeah, the alcohol comes through in this one a lot yeah, more than the other one. Yeah. yeah, I don't think this is a beer I would buy in the regular. Just no, just because of the hops. So either. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. I don't think so either. Eight ninety nine. It's a, it's a. For me, it's like a weekend beer. For me, it's not a beer. Yeah, I, I won't. It's, I won't it's way too hoppy for no. me. No, too many hops. Yeah, there's too much hopping going on in there. It does have a good yeah. flavor to it. Though. Yeah, it has I a mean flavor. But the, the other flavors aside from the hops is not bad. I mean, I do taste the caramel that I smelled earlier. Yeah. Um, it's a little more faint than what I smelled, but it, I still taste it. The taste is long lasting too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that's unfortunate because there's a lot of hops in that. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> what? You can't handle the bitterness. I can handle it, I just don't like it. <laughs> Whatever. Tell I got that bite. I like right? his beer first. Okay. Got that I like it. Know. I like the hops. I like the the aftertaste of it. And Bob and me are like the only hops. I think I'm gonna. Really. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with my category here. It's uh decent. Yeah. Well, all right. I'll just go there. I'll go drinkable. I'm saying drinkable. If you took out the hops, well, yeah, take it down there. Drinkable weekend beer. Yeah. yeah, drinkable. Yeah. Less hops would would definitely bump it up because I do like straight? the other flavors in it. It's eight ninety nine. Yeah, it's pricey too. Definitely yeah. tasting the alcohol yeah. content though. More yeah, so than the other. Yeah, thing. alcohol content is why a lot of those are more expensive. I think. Yeah. But and but this isn't like a like beer I would drink. Uh, oh no, no. I think when you go decent, it's almost holy grail for me. But I think if it was just a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger, for me, like maybe even a little bit more hops. That I would definitely go Holy Grail. <laughs> I think the only reason I'm, I'm not going Holy Grail is I like hops. It's because of I like the, the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> I take a drink and I'm like, You can have all the hops you want. <laughs> I mean, I might. Well, I'll take them. And when I brew a beer, it's going to have hops in it. Uh, the only I'm reason I didn't, style? I didn't step it up to Holy Grail was because of the price. <laughs> all, right. well, all beer has hops for a right. pint. You know, yeah, it's it's a tad high. Yeah, it's one of the expen It's one of those. Almost all of these pints that you see always are eight ninety nine. That's like yeah. the standard price for them. It it's like just like the label's like a limited edition. Which yeah, is like totally I mean, you can go out and buy a buy a six pack. I think the label's for nine bucks. Yeah. yeah, same price. It's a novelty beer. Mm -hmm. This gets you like a beer and a half to almost two beers. I think so. I think more than that. With that. I, 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 I think like two. Well, long. I mean. He makes oh, yeah. volume, right, yeah, volume, volume, volume. Lines, yeah. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Yep. It's mainly decent. Or wait, man, no, mainly drinkable. Drink, drink, mainly drink, drink, drinkable. Drink, yeah. Got a couple decent. So I mean, it's it's on the higher end of. And if you uh, like drinkable. hops, I think you're probably gonna like this. Yeah. 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 Definitely. If you're not a hop lover, then yeah, you'll probably think it's just kind of drinkable. That it has good flavors, but the hops are just too much. To, it doesn't balance it out very well. No. Yeah. But there you have it, Double Skull, Double Bock Lager, Epic Brewing Company Exponential Series. The label looks cool. Yeah, the label mm -hmm. looks really cool. But uh, yeah, uh, decent and drinkable. Uh, this is Long Ashes, Broadleaf, Ring Gauge, Punch, Gay Asses, and Nubs. <laughs> I mean Gray Asses, sorry. Gay Asses. <laughs> We're going to continue to search for the Holy Grail of Ale. <laughs>